what's up everybody how you doing welcome back to horror hangout thank you for hanging out with me today uh got wife with me today pardon the lack of energy man i'm really tired this is the third time we've made this video because the first time i don't remember what the deal was but the second time when we did it we had a freeze on the software and then there was a 15 minute gap out of only a 20 minute video that had it was pixelated it looked it you guys have seen this stuff before, so I'm just putting money away for this computer. I need to get it. I got about half the money saved right now, so we'll, we'll get there, man. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. Uh, in celebration of Terrifier 2 coming out in just about a month from now, Carissa finally decided she was ready to watch Terrifier with me. And we actually watched it two times, and we'll explain why in just a minute, but... We were just going to get on here for a minute and give you guys her feedback and her reaction to the movie. So, yeah. So, after watching it twice, I can say without a doubt that it is not my favorite movie. <laughs> um, it is not. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah. I didn't necessarily enjoy it. There was a whole lot of good about it. It was a fantastic movie. It was very well made. David Howard Thornton is incredible in it. The music is good. The pictures good. I, the effects were really cool. A lot of the practical effects. The quality effects. of what they did for thirty five oh grand is outrageous. Yes. Um, it was really awesome, and apparently the uh, uh, location scout was also really good. <laughs> yeah, that warehouse was great. That was a good place to film. Right. Well. So there's a lot of really good stuff about it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Well, the issue after talking about it a couple of times and actually doing this video a couple of times, we kind of figured out that the the issue isn't even the movie being good or bad. It's just it was too scary for her. She didn't like it. It was too grimy and realistic. Whereas <laughs> I genuinely thought at this point in time, by now, with all the things that we've watched together, I wouldn't have asked her to watch it if I had thought she was going to react this way. She can tell you that. I have no reason to do that to her. So I was pretty shocked when she said this. Uh, the first time we watched it, I was like, so what'd you think? And she was just like, no. And I literally was like, what? <laughs> for, for one thing, she had no complaints during the movie. So I was just a little caught off guard. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when somebody's watching a movie with you and they're not enjoying it, you can tell. And I was watching her watch the movie more than I was watching the movie itself. So I was caught off guard quite a bit when she said she didn't like it. But she immediately said, and, I, and this was without, without any like uh, prompting from me, she said, I'd, I'd like to watch it again. And I was like, oh, well, that's a good thing because, you know, sometimes you watch a movie, don't really like it much, watch it again. You go, oh, never mind, never mind, I get it, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And so we had an opportunity to watch it within quick succession. So like two days mm -hmm. later, we were like, I was like, hey, you want to watch it again? She's like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. And she was pretty positive about wanting to watch it. So we threw it on. We watched it. And hell, Parker watched half of it with us. And, uh, <laughs> yo, he was a champ. Yes. And he was a good kid. He sat there two <laughs> years old. Just like, I love Terrifier. Um, so after the movie, I was like, so, any better? And she just goes, nope. And I was like, <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, and it was also funny that, you know, as soon as we were starting the second movie, or the second watching she's like okay so now that you have an idea of it being silly and campy and you think you're gonna ha enjoy it more and i was like i didn't think it was silly or campy at all i just couldn't imagine if she didn't laugh <laughs> through this whole movie like the thing is, is is that i've been watching horror movies for almost 30 years not quite 30 but a long time most of my life and I started watching Texas Chainsaw, not, excuse me, not Texas Chainsaw. I started watching with like Nightmare on Elm Street as a very young kid. I got in trouble for it. I wasn't supposed to watch it, but I but I was watching it and enjoying it and then having horrendous nightmares throughout the night. Um, mm -hmm. So I've got two decades plus experience on her. But because I've only been watching horror movies for like two, two years. years. <laughs> so you, I've literally got you 10 X. So yes. The, the, actually, 3X, or, or like, excuse me. DX? Wham! Got you. <laughs> Anyways, um, my math is off right now. So, the situation is this. Is I watched this movie, and while it's in a realistic setting, 
everything else about it is ridiculous. It's ultra gory, which we've seen so many movies that are over the top. But I, I you know, after watch, I will say this: after watching it the second time and then thinking about it, putting this against something like Ricky O, which is yes. which is way gorier than this. Yes, they're different because this Very. one is much more mean spirited. This is much yes. more in the vein of like the original Maniac and Last House on the Left, where it's yeah. unbelievable, but it's so grimy that. I guess in hindsight, I kind of feel a little bad for making you watch it. See, I'm not even sure it's unbelievable. Oh, it's so, very unbelievable. I just feel like people might actually be that mean. <laughs> no, they won't just up like a fucking clown and do it, though. That's my whole point, is that the it's unbelievable. Like, it's, uh, with the exception of John Wayne Gacy, which is an anomaly, is the one dude in the history of people that did that. My point is, is that I don't take it seriously. There's nothing about it that me that feels serious to me like the whole movie feels silly in a good way like i like in a way and that's not a that's not a diss like i i i i love this movie like i i love it it's not even a a question of whether or not i just enjoy it or whatever no no no, dude look over my shoulder i've got you know art the clown oops sorry this way masks over my shoulder i've got i've got a blu-ray set that i bought here that is number 36 of only 200 made like you don't go and buy stuff like this if you don't really truly have a love for something which just just to show this off this thing is awesome man uh i'll do it i already did an unboxing but i don't know if it's on this channel or not it might be on my other channel if if i figured out i'll do a like a i don't know review of that if, if you guys want it's pretty cool and i've got terrified vhs whatever it, it is what it is I, i've got a lot of the merch i've got autographs i've talked to david a couple of times on the channel you know what I, again I think part of it is that I've talked to David enough to where he's pulled me from the reality of this movie. Mm -hmm. I look at Art the Clown and I don't see David Howard Thornton. I mean, I don't see Art the Clown, I see David Howard Thornton, which is weird because he's such the opposite of this character. Like, to kind of an absurd degree. Like, he's so nice. Like, he's <laughs> the opposite of this character. But that'll make it hard for somebody like me to take this very seriously. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was just really shocked. I was really surprised. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I'm st you. I'm still surprised. I, it <laughs> blows my mind. But here's the thing: we watched the trailer for the second movie, mm -hmm. and she's interested in at least watching it once. Yes. And we've come to the conclusion that we think she might enjoy it better because it's going to be a little bit sleeker. It's going to have a better production value. It's going to look more like a movie because there was points in this one where it looked like you were just watching through a window. Yes. Because the the quality of the cameras used. Mm -hmm. nowadays for a low budget film it's so right. much higher than it was even 15 years ago oh my goodness that they had excellent cameras mm -hmm. so at that point they're worried about excuse me do we can we get the practical effects to look right can the actors do what they're supposed to do and all that fell in the in the line it fell it fell into place so mm -hmm. you had points in this movie where it, there's it was so realistic from the perspective of we're just watching a guy at a pizza place. Right. Cause it, it looked like we were there kind of versus like a right. Marvel movie where you're like, Oh, I'm clearly not there. That's a clearly set. Not there. It's lots right. of CG. No, this was just like a, yes. a window into a, a situation. The pizza place looks like a place we've been a million times. It really does feel know? like brothers pizza in Houston. <laughs> Shout out to brothers pizza in Houston. Let's go. And, uh, you know, so <sighs> that kind of made it feel more familiar and realistic to me. Um, but, I mean, oh, another thing that I really wanted to say was that um, even though I wasn't, I didn't enjoy the movie, it was still uh, so well done that I'm interested in the character. I am curious to know more about Art the Clown and... That's very important. Yes. I want to know about his backstory and why he doesn't talk because... Yeah. I know... I know you get to like, okay, he's just not talking, but then then there's at least five times where he gets stabbed or beaten or something. Hit with something. Yeah. It he makes has no many noise. opportunities to just yelp and surprise. This is one of those instances doesn't. where we are very different because I couldn't care less as to I why know. he doesn't talk. But it doesn't, I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't want to know. If you want to know, it's what you want to know. I, I'm, it doesn't affect me one way or the other, other than I want to find out so that I can tell you. Yeah. Or I want to find out so I can have you watch it with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, something like that. But, like, it, it shows you 
there's a lot to be said for a movie that you can sit up here and be like, yeah, I didn't like it at all, mm -hmm. but it was really well made. Like that's, yeah. there's gotta be tons of people that are into either horror or horror adjacent things that this one might not be their cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And they won't even be able to tell you, yeah, but the effects were really good in the film. The, the the cinematography was pretty good and mm -hmm. the cameras were really nice they had good they had good equipment and they had good music they won't be able to tell you those things because they were watching it strictly from an entertainment perspective where you were too except that you also know that we do this yes i do videos about it i talked so she was watching it kind of thinking we were going to talk about it yeah so and, and i've gotten to the point you always talk about those things so much that yeah i just like the music and have yeah. to notice them effects and the <laughs> so. acting and, and i and i didn't used to talk about that as much but yeah i think it's pretty cool that you watched it with me well i think it's amazing that you watched it with me i think it's amazing that you watched it twice but i think it's pretty cool that you're able to at least say some positive things about it because i would have been pretty disappointed if you weren't able to acknowledge the good in the movie because whether you like it or not is irrelevant when you're talking about was it made well did the acting was it convincing right. was the were the effects cool was, was, was the kill cool like that i mean come on right is that not the best kill you've ever seen in a movie <laughs> that was really crazy okay like the best kill though like like you talk about just outrageous <laughs> kills like there, what what beats that it hurt i mean <laughs> it it hurt it <laughs> there's been very few instances where somebody was killed on screen and it was more effective than that is my oh, point yes like uh, the one thing that I saw that once that that really kind of affected me, which is a strange one because it wasn't gory at all, was when Jason Voorhees picks up a girl in a sleeping bag mm -hmm. and slams her against a tree. The noise that it made, I was like, oh, oh. yeah. But it's like oh. stuff like that where this one was just like, he doesn't hesitate. He, she's like hanging there and he just goes, huh, ready? Let's go. And just starts going at it. Yeah. And you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it, and, and when I first the first time I saw it, it blew my mind. So yeah. so like there's things like that that you have to acknowledge as a fan of movies. Did right. this, was this insane? Yeah, it was absolutely freaking nuts. Doesn't mean you liked it necessarily, but I I I think it's cool that you would probably still I don't know maybe maybe you wouldn't, mm -hmm. but would you go with me and meet David and them in person and, yeah. and take photos and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, because you appreciate the movie more than you liked it, obviously. Correct? Yes. Is that is that a good assumption? Yes. Yeah, and 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 like you said the with that kill they and in many other ways they did push boundaries and that's really, something we need to talk about for just yeah. a minute i was like why did the video take us 20 minutes to make it It's because we brought up <laughs> stuff well no because i was like why why do we talk about for 20? because we brought up things like this mm -hmm. okay so in the movie there's two things that i thought were going to really upset some people and i think they that they're very divisive scenes one is he kills the uh, final girl mm -hmm. the main girl she's dead halfway through the movie right mm -hmm. i love it <laughs> i love it so much and she's like she's the eye candy she's like she's the hot girl man like or i i believe i apologize if jenna canal sees this i believe jenna canal goes by a different pronoun i don't remember what it is i'm not trying to be disrespectful i am aware of that so my apologies whatever jenna wants to go by is what i will call jenna okay but that character is Gonzo. Um, and then also, Art pulls out a gun. Boom! Mm -hmm. Gotcha! That is a no-no in slasher movies. And I was like, <laughs> yes, yes, please give me more of it. I am a rule breaker, man. So how did you feel about that? Because you're not as deep into horror as me. How much does that come up in horror movies in general? Guns? Yes. Not very often. Unless you're talking about zombie movies, maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah, But in like slashers, almost time. never. Yeah, no. No, yeah, I mean, it did surprise me, and I can absolutely see why people would be upset about it. That's why but... I'm like, <laughs> you're mad? Come on, it's awesome. <laughs> but I think they did it well, and I think, you know, the, the overkill with it was very much in character and in keeping with the horror, and uh the running out of bullets just and he's like super irritating <laughs> that's one thing i like about the movie is that they write stuff like that into the, they wrote things like that into it where he runs out of ammunition and he's like you're kidding me and he looks visibly irritated and he has to mm -hmm. go find more and then come back and then, and then he does come back and he's like bam 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 mm -hmm. uh i liked the side chick that was the wrong way to say that anyways the blonde <laughs> The more I watch this movie, the more I think her character might be my favorite character aside from art because she's funny. She is funny. She's like, 
come on, let her go inside. She'll make it worth your while. Like, she's just like your very typical <laughs> hot blonde chick. And I'm not even like a blonde chick guy, but she's like a hot chick, man. And you're yeah. like, oh, she's cool. She's funny. And she's like clearly out to party. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, no, she's really likable. She's dead. She is going, <laughs> she is going to D.I.E. Because she is fun and clearly fun to be around. The other girl is all paranoid and being like annoying. Mm-hmm. She's like, dude, you're freaking me the fuck out now. Remember she tells her in the yeah. car? She's like, would you shut up? You're making me have a bad time. And then I was like, oh, she's gonzo. I, I love the introduction of Art and her in, as like a pair. Mm-hmm. When she's like, oh, my God, you're not going to believe this. And then you look over and that, that smile he's got. You're like, yo, what? Yeah, Terrifier. We watched the first one. We're waiting. Well, I've seen it probably about what? I'd say at least 10 times now. Probably probably, probably 10 times. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're waiting on the uh, the sequel in a few weeks. What's up? I just remember the first time you watched Terrifier, you didn't like it. You turned it off halfway through. Correct. That's something I talk about quite often, actually, because it shocks me that I like it this much when I didn't like it at all the first time I watched it. I watched it. Yeah. I got about... 30 minutes in and I said, nope, I turned it off. I got about to the point to where, let's see, is it even 30 minutes? I don't know. Yeah, because I didn't like, I still to this day don't understand, sorry, the beginning of this movie. I don't understand it. Oh, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go into yeah. it. I don't understand why that's in there, but I, don't, I haven't talked to Damien yet. So if I ever get to talk to him, I will ask him. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that doesn't take away from the movie. But when I first saw it, it's like a 10 minute segment. And, yeah. and like another 10 minutes after that, there's still the pizza place. Yeah. While in hindsight now I get it. I like it. And I understand mm-hmm. the pacing of it. When I first watched it, I didn't. And I was like, cause somebody told me like, this is the scariest movie I've ever seen, bro. You're going to love this. And they're like, it's gory and gnarly. And there was this kill in there. And I was mm-hmm. like, I was I was all excited. So I started watching it. And the news anchor lady, she's so unlikable that I was like, mm-hmm. that I was just like, yo, she's awful. And then I was already in a funk. And, but in all fairness, I watched it on a screen about this big. So it was probably mm. like a 20 inch, 25 inch screen yeah. on a computer in a dark little office. It was my little office and the lights were out. But like the next time I watched it, I watched it on a big TV and the lights out in a room by myself. And it was way more effective that way. So look, all I want is for everybody that's on my team over here, not my team as in like it or dislike it, but like as in horror hangout homies, like, Please go support this movie. Please go watch it. It's on Tubi right now for free. Um, All Hallows Eve is the prequel, and it's like an anthology movie featuring Art the Clown. That's on Tubi, I believe. But go support this stuff. And when uh, Terrifier 2 comes out, I genuinely hope you all go see it. Whether you like it or not, that's up to you guys. But I hope you go support it. And Damien Leone did a lot of work to get this movie to stay in his possession, to keep the property. And this is a true independent horror movie. It was funded by the fans of the franchise. It was produced otherwise by Damien and people he knew. So this isn't something that's owned by Sony or Fox or Disney or anything like that or Universal. This is a independent horror movie to its core. So please go support it um, and let us know what you think. Let me know what you think about the first movie in the comments. If you have a movie that you want us to check out, let us know in the comments. If you want her to watch something with me, specify hey i'd like krista to see this whether or not i've seen it is irrelevant we'll watch it together and we'll talk about it um yeah she's probably going to be doing more videos with me for the at least for the near future while while she's not doing so much full-time work uh may as well hang out and do some more stuff together because i enjoy it so i enjoy it too i love you i love you we're so bad about this i know but anyways uh, (laughs) hey man i got a good looking wife like what if you're mad about that, you're just mad about that. Oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, Terrifier, man. Go watch it. Go enjoy it. Love it. Go dress up like a clown for Halloween and scare the crap out of some kids. And send me photos. I want to see this stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll get out of here. Stop rambling. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. Peace.